love my JCC. I love my JCC. I love my JCC. The preschool Shabbat creates for me the reason that I come to work every day. Boys and girls, yeah. will you lead us in the blessing over the bread? that they are singing about being Jewish and having fun and creating um, a wonderful time for themselves and for their parents and for their grandparents it makes me feel like, oh my God, this is really why we do what we do. Our JCC appeals to everybody, from the youngest person, six months old, to the moms that are spinning, and to the um, senior adults and the active adults who are coming to take part in our educational opportunities, both to learn about Jewish life and for things that are important to them. JCC is a place that can provide a, a warm, welcoming environment for Jewish families of all ages to make connections with each other and provide support systems. The JCC, to me, represents the foundation of our youth. It is the basis by which they go forward. We're also really excited to be able to recreate some of the wonderful things that we're doing in Boynton in Palm Beach Gardens when we built our new JCC there. We know that when we have a facility, people who are as yet unaffiliated with Jewish life will have an opportunity to come and create a life of meaning and purpose for themselves. We're very much looking forward to having this new place and a new locus for Jewish life to serve the Jewish community in Palm Beach Gardens. I always tell parents that I have three children and I have never heard them once complain about school. They're always so excited to get up in the morning, to see their friends, to do great learning experiences at the dinner table. We have, there's a great buzz about what they're learning in school. I really feel like they have a wonderful sense of Jewish identity, which I don't know if they would have gotten that, you know, if we hadn't been at the Meyer. I've never worked in an environment like Meyer Academy before. The access to technology here is just amazing. The teachers have tons of access. We have iPads, laptops, document cameras, LCD projectors. And the kids have access to laptops, iPads. It's a constant integration into our curriculum. Technology aside though, what really makes Meyer Academy special is the caliber of teachers. Of course we have the experience, but we also have the attitude that education is constantly growing and changing and that we're going to need to grow and change with it so that our students are not only prepared for the next steps in their education, but they're prepared for life in general. Along with the excellence in general studies education, we have the Jewish studies and the Hebrew education. The Jewish studies really focuses on the children's opportunities to develop the values, customs, morals, ethics, values, uh, and all the wonderful things that balance out the child's education at Meyer Academy. The Hebrew curriculum really allows us to be able to develop a bilingual understanding of language. Hebrew allows a child to understand the structure and all the components that then allow them to study a language like Spanish many years later. one common goal and that's what we're here for to make a difference and to help people who are in need on so many different levels. Being a single mom in this day and age is not easy and um, Alan is my sounding board and my support system for helping raise Daniel. It's the single most important relationship. I think whatever little bit Dan's gotten out of it I've probably got twice as much out of it. What the, the program is, is basically, it's seniors helping seniors, is what it is. It's seniors helping seniors. I don't just help Anne, she helps me. It's a very win-win situation. Coming to um, JFS for counseling and feeling an immediate connection with the social worker that I was placed with, she was absolutely just an angel. I don't know that I could have gotten out had I not come here for counseling. So many lives are touched by Albert Jewish Family and Children's Services. You make that possible. One team. One place. One family. Yad is a religious school for children with special needs. It is designed to serve children who primarily attend self-contained classes in public or non-public special education facilities and who, 
because of their special needs, do not learn effectively in a regular Jewish religious school environment. The Yad program brings to children the richness of their Jewish heritage and fosters pride and self-assurance in their identity as valued members of the Jewish community. The Teen Education Department has three main areas of focus. They're the Judaica Institute, the Teen Sadaka Project, and the Weiner Panim El Panim Washington Seminar. Our weekly activities included Israeli culture, photography, and current events. In January, our Weiner Panim El Panim delegation spent three full days in our nation's capital. We engaged in service learning, toured the sites, visited the offices of our local representatives, and attended how-to sessions about becoming politically active and making a difference as Jews in America. Participants in the Teen Sadaka Project had 19 different opportunities to donate their time this year, from beach cleanups to making recyclable cat toys to educational sessions and donating money. This year's TTP members did it all. At CJE, we provide support and services to more than 3,200 students in 25 preschools, complementary schools, and day schools, and train approximately 400 teachers each year. Is it because your independence means everything to you? Or is it because your best friend expects you to be there? Or is it simply because home is truly where the heart is? Is it that his diploma is from Harvard? Or that his commitment is straight from the heart? Or is it that we know it takes a constellation to provide five-star care? Morse Life, excellence in senior care. This is what dignity and compassion look like. My name is Stephanie Schwartz and welcome to Our Hillel. I love being able to come here in the middle of classes and hang out. There's always an open door, someone to talk to, somebody to go to Shabbat dinner with. I think that being part of Halal really made me appreciate the tradition. And not only that, I think it really helps you experience the idea of family. It's like the only place on campus where I feel like I can really be myself. The Hillel of Broward and Palm Beach serves the undergraduate and graduate Jewish student population at five universities in South Florida. Florida Atlantic University, Lynn University, Palm Beach State College, Nova Southeastern University, and Broward College. One of my most memorable events with Hillel is when I brought my grandmother to uh, a Holocaust survivor Shabbat dinner we had. She loved how the kids were so intrigued by her story. There's always a place to sit, study, talk with friends between classes and it really is a home away from home for people that don't live in the dorm. Part of the reason about Hillel that keeps me coming back is that I'm much more involved than I ever thought I would be. No matter where you come from, um, if you're interested in learning about Jewish life or being committed to Jewish life, then there's a place for you in Hillel. I think the geography is just very beautiful. There's just something very ethereal about being in uh, the region. It gave us the opportunity to partner with the Zahar region, which provided us much greater challenge and also greater reward.
כמעט קשה לתאר את ההתנהלות של ראש פינה ושל שלושת רשויות סחר ולא המעורבות הברוכה של שותפות 2000 ושל ידידינו הנפלאים מקהילת ווסט פאן ביצ'ה. When the children and their families have the personal connection, they are attached to Israel. החיבור האנושי והחברי הוא בשבילי חיבוק גדול. חיבוק שהוא חזרה הביתה ליהדות שלא הכרתי. וזאת המתנה שקיבלתי מהשותפות. Being in the ambassador program and TLI has taught me more about other cultures and it's taught me to take more action in my community and encourage others to come to Israel. I think it's so unique that we can like have a connection with the people in Israel and not just like the Kotel or just like certain things. Youth Futures is a multifaceted program for children and youth at risk, giving them a once in a lifetime chance to break the cycle of distress and flourish. The program is primarily operated by the trustees, young adults committed to social change who mentor and support the children and their families and connect them to the community. Shlomi was a child for three years. What I was able to do to help Shlomi was בנושא של חיזוק הביטחון העצמי, היכולות שלו לתת לו כיוונים חיוביים, אפיקי מחשבה שונים. אחרי שלוש שנים הוא נהיה מספר אחת בכיתה, הוא מצליח בבית ספר. הביטחון שלו העצמי עלה, רואים אותו פשוט בכל המישורים, מצליח לגמרי. ומאז התחלתי, אני רק מצליח. Our funding and our, pro our programming that we fund is making a difference with it. And, uh, and these kids, in the ca case of these kids, it's really incredible. They get to experience enriching educational programs, interacting with parents and children together. And they are doing things that are traditionally their culture, their Ethiopian culture. And yet it's being done in a mix of Ethiopian Israelis and non-Ethiopian Israelis, so it, it becomes a very, a very good uh, process for an integration of, of cultures and uh, it's just a, obviously a, the kids are having fun, most importantly, and they're learning and the parents are engaged and this wouldn't be the case if we didn't have this program here for these kids. The focus of the Jewish Agency for Israel is youth and Aliyah in the state of Israel, and also educational programming in uh, the former Soviet Union and in other locations. They do such tremendous work. I was told that by my parents, and as my parents got involved to Jewish community, I got involved too. So I was like about seven or eight years old. I went to uh, Jewish camps and for like seminars and all that stuff. If you support Federation, you support the Jews all over the world. In my point of view, it is one of the greatest Jewish values that like supporting each other. If you support Federation, you support Jews, so you, you do a good thing. The American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee is a very deep passion of mine, personally. Uh, they work in 68 countries around the world, and they really make a difference. They're involved in, in trying to make uh, uh, the social welfare services more available to the fragile and the, uh, uh, the young, the old, the, uh, uh, the disenfranchised. I mean, and they gather them in in a, in a remarkably talented way. And I've visited a lot of the projects that have taken place around the world, and I've seen for myself.